I actually wanted to live stream this, but I changed my mind for several different reasons. Number one, I didn't want to have a lot of the negative comments in the live. Not that I have negative comments usually in my live. Uh, most of the audience that we uh, stream to here, they're very supportive, very loving. Um, and I usually don't have issues out of any of the viewers that come here to visit our channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful and I really appreciate it. I have been, um, you know, on YouTube and, you know, learning my craft since 2015. I know I've, I've said many times in the past it's 2017, but it was actually two years before that. Um, and based on records and old emails because I don't ever delete emails um, since December 8th 2016 you know I've had a PayPal account for um, the baby's booty and you know since then I've done um, classes I've done um, you know the occasional order for um, local people I've um, gotten loans ironically I've also um, I've done a lot I've done a lot through the years and I cannot right here sit and think of anyone that I have scammed taking money and just didn't do what I said I was going to do okay so when it comes to that and I look at my um, PayPal history the only disputes that I have on my PayPal I can count on two hands the disputes and the reason for the disputes are because of me being a reseller of a software program and whenever a person purchases that program um, the payment comes to me first all right and then when I receive a notice that the payment is there I generate a code to the customer it's not done automatically I generate the code and the code is emailed to the customer so there are instances where the email goes to the customer spam and instead of contacting me directly or reaching out in any form, they'll file a dispute and say, I never received the code, um, of which I have an email showing that they did receive the code, or at least I sent it to their email address that they paid with the PayPal. Um, and then whenever I submit that proof, the dispute is cleared up and I don't have any issues. Usually PayPal releases the dispute, all right, because I do have proof that the code was sent. Um, but aside from that, no issues whatsoever. So the reason why I'm doing this video, there's a couple of reasons why I'm doing this video. Number one, um, one of the things we do like to do on this channel is help you get going in your business, whether if, if you so choose to do so. Of course, we craft, um, you know, just because we love to craft. And so we teach all of the different methods that we use to craft with. And of course, it's up to you if you choose to try to make money off of it or not. Um, but in that regard, you have the option to do so. And if you choose to create a business out of any of these methods or all of these methods, you know, we're here for you. We, we want to support you. We want to help make sure that your process is seamless, that, you know, you have now on this end, I try to make sure that whatever craft it is that you're doing, if you need help with that, I'm here for you. Um, but that doesn't stop with just the craft, you know, so we try to give some good references to people on things that they can do if they're trying to go into business to help improve their business and to uh, make their business profitable all right so one of the things recently that i was doing with the git challenge 
was um, explaining to people to get a business email address. Um, and we talked you through that on going to um, it's Google something or other <clears throat> mark. It's not Google market. It's Google something that starts with an M. I'm so frustrated right now. I can't think straight. So we're, we're telling people to get business email addresses to help them help improve you know, their access to other businesses and peer to peer, uh, processes. All right. So, <clears throat> and as a matter of fact, come September, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a event that will be held here in Charlotte. Um, start, it's called the start here Academy. Um, I'm not going to get into that right now, but you know, that's something that I'll be a part of and I'm super excited about it because I want everyone to succeed that wants to get into business, especially in the crafting industry. This, I mean, yes, 2020 and 2021 was rough because of the pandemic. But for those of us who were crafters, this was our year, guys. You know, these were our years. We we sold out embroidery and sewing machines across the country. We we blew that market up so large until even now the five by seven embroidery machine that used to be, you know, right at $550 is now a thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, it, it was just, there were so many positives in how crafters impacted, uh, the, the, especially our country, you know, when, when the masks ran out, I was right there telling you guys, hey, <laughs> there's a shortage on masks. You need to learn how to make masks. You need to learn how to jump on that bandwagon, make masks, grab a sewing machine, make that money. A lot of y'all know I said that. A lot of y'all listened and a lot of y'all really did very well with your businesses and made money off of, unfortunately, the pandemic. And, and that sucks in a way, but that's how life goes. Um, usually... I mean, most of your uh, inventions come from solving a problem. And we had a huge problem as a country. And a lot of uh, crafters came together and pooled their skills and their different talents and all of the different ways that they, uh, ideas that they had rather of coming up with masks, right? And and y'all rose to the challenge and, and just just devastated the challenge it was it was great to see the crafters come together and because of that crafting has become a huge industry all right that being said all of us who choose to make money off of what we do have to have some kind of way to get money to our accounts you know um everything can't be cash It'll be nice, but everything can be cash. And realistically, you don't want it to be all cash because there's a system of checks and balances that you want to, you know, keep a hold of. And now as a um, generation of electronic payment babies and, and, you know, young adults, cash really isn't king anymore. Now it's more, you know, who can get <laughs> to cash out, you know what I'm saying? Or, or, or um zale or you know what i'm saying so we're trying to adapt to this new form of receiving payment as businesses and making sure that we're all you know where we need to be and thus the reason why there's the new tax law on anything over i think it was what six hundred dollars in your cash app they're going to be looking at it they're going to be taxing it and and that's not the purpose of this video but just to bring awareness that yes the digital funding um, aspect of doing business is definitely rearing its head and we have to find a way to tackle this problem and why is it a problem the reason it's a problem you guys and I really don't want to get on a on a rant but the reason it's a problem is because there are some unscrupulous people out there uh, you know the pandemic brought out some digital thieves as well all right. And unfortunately, because there are people out there who just really don't know how to be honest in their dealings and how to, you know, be be honest instead of trying to make money, you know, by scamming people. It makes it hard on those of us 
who are out here trying to really be honest in what we do. And that being the case, I've come up with a I've come across a personal problem right now. And it's got me angry because it can happen to any of you guys if it hasn't already. As a matter of fact, I know it's happened to outside of the crafting industry, especially because there's if you go on to the forums. It's ridiculous to see the people complaining. As a matter of fact, there's a major lawsuit right now against PayPal because of, you know, them not handling people's money properly and and taking people's money. So they didn't take my money, but they did put it on hold. Okay, so you guys know. I try really hard not to have things I, I try not to sell things I guess is what I'm trying to say I try really hard not to sell I'm not a salesman but whenever I see that there's something that I think will benefit our audience I'm all for it right and so I did I came across a really awesome deal I talked to you guys about it so many of y'all were on board with it that I was overwhelmed actually um, I'm not a, because I don't do sales because I don't normally sell things. The way that I had things set up was like old school <laughs> pen and paper type situation. Um, until I could get everything typed in and type up all these invoices separate and send them out. You know what I'm saying? And when I did send out invoices, like I told you guys, and, and this is, this is, I think the part that really gets my goat and has me really upset to the point of point of just tears is I told you guys when we were discussing doing this deal we so actually hold on time out we were doing a buy-in so for those of you who don't know what a buy-in is a lot of things that we have in this country especially if they're like super super affordable come from overseas it comes from overseas it's just you know if you go on Amazon you'll see slew fools of things like I was shopping for luggage for my son and a lot of the luggage that you see on Amazon they're not created here they're created overseas and investors buy in bulk bring it over and then list it on Amazon at a pretty decent price in some instances you know and then you buy it right that's that's not quite a buy-in that in illustration because that is someone who um, one person has the $10,000 to call or, or, or go on Alibaba or whatever, and go to this country, to this manufacturer and say, Hey, I got 10 grand. This is how many I want. This is what I want it to look like. I want to buy all of it, ship it over here. And then I'll resell it because I'm the one that invested the money. That's different. What a buy-in is, is I have an interest in. I have a manufacturer that I know of personally, and I'm trying to um, order some things for myself, but it's such a good deal. I'm willing to let other people in on this deal. So if you have the money, uh, you and it doesn't have to be $10,000, you see what I'm saying? Like I could have $20, you could have $40, but enough of us get together and pool our money together and then send that money over to our manufacturer then the manufacturer gets the order and they send it back and then everybody gets a piece of that deal right and we all get to um be able to have access to you know being able to get wholesale prices that's basically actually i think it's a step before wholesale but it's close enough to wholesale and that's what a buy-in is and so i chose to do a buy-in with a manufacturer overseas and i told you guys if you invest with me not really invest you're buying it it's not you know there's i mean there's risk with anything that you do in life but this is an actual order of something that we know is there it's tangible it's been ordered before so you know what what's the big deal so at this point i'm telling you guys pay by paypal i told you pay by paypal because it protects you and it protects me 
all of you who ordered know that all of you i was live two times yesterday two or three times yesterday and i was live the day before on sunday saying um or sunday saying that i was going to um do the buy-in and i've been telling everybody we're going to pay through paypal some people wanted to not do paypal and i understood that and i said okay well i'll allow you to not have to do paypal but i i really don't like that because i want you to be protected right well they screwed us they they did not protect y'all and they're definitely not protecting me so the money is there but they put it on hold they 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 put the money on hold so just complete transparency this is where we are right now and yeah this this is my dang paypal account i don't make a whole ton of money so if you ever thought you know i'm on youtube i got subscribers whatever so i must make a ton no this is this i don't and i don't do a lot of business for myself my main thing is coming on here and having fun with you guys and teaching you guys and just whatever but look look, look at this this is ridiculous you guys put in and this is not all of the money and i'll i'll this this is ridiculous so if you go here all of these customers paid 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 everybody's stuff is paid all of these invoice all of these things and i'm i'm gonna have to blur out daggum email addresses because i forgot about that so i'm glad i'm not live um The invoices are paid, but they're on hold. The majority of those that I just scrolled through um, are on hold. And, and that's on a whole different other screen. Um, where is it at? Because I'll blur this out afterwards. Um, where 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 is that at? I, I don't even remember how to get to that page right now because I'm just, let's see, activity page. I think this is where it is. Y'all, I just, here it is. So I'm, I'm trying to look, look, look at this on hold, on hold, on hold. These people trusted me enough to send their money. They trusted me and I have the money. The money is there, but it's on hold. So because of that, I have a <laughs> darn near $7,000 order sitting overseas because that's how many of y'all came together and ordered off of this really awesome deal. And I've been back and forth with them. I can even show the screenshots, you know, of talking to the guy telling him I'm ready to order, put in the order, told him how much everybody's stuff together and him telling me how much it was. And then I go to my PayPal and the money's not there. All of it isn't there. There was a huge chunk of it that was there. Um, and the only solution, you know, because he wasn't even trying to fill the order. So when i asked him about filling the order he was like just just pay this much of it so i put four thousand over there already and he filled the order he said the order is there is waiting it just needs to be shipped out but they're not shipping it till it's paid in full so here's the issue the issue is how do you get the money off hold with paypal so paypal is like okay well we'll take the money off of hold in 24 hours if you um, put in a tracking number, how the heck am I going to get a tracking number if I'm not, if the order's not paid for? How does that work? You know, they don't, I, and, I, and I understand that they don't know that. I understand that. But you don't even give me an audience to be able to contact you and say, 
this is what's going on. How help me figure a better way to resolve this. So these guys are over here waiting on $3,000, which there's 25 there. And I have the rest in cash app that I don't even want to send over here to pay. Cause if I send it over here, because this is how I paid them. The $4,000 is out of PayPal with the money that they didn't put on hold, but the money that they did put on hold, I don't want to send the money that I have in cash app over to PayPal so that I can pay them the rest of the money because these fools are going to put it on hold. So how do I, how, how, how does this work y'all? How does this work? And the fact that they, so <laughs> what has me frustrated isn't necessarily that they put the money on hold. I'm not frustrated about that. Let me get that clear. And the reason why I'm not frustrated about that is because I understand why they did it. I understand that there are crooks out there. I understand that there are people out. There. I know I'm in a couple of groups where they do buy-ins and, but not with what I was doing buy-ins for, but they do buy-ins and there are some women who are now blacklisted in those groups because they take people's money and they don't give them the stuff. <laughs> so I understand. I understand why they did it. What has me upset is you don't give me an audience to be able to say, plead my case to say, this is what's going on to, you know, there's more than one way to handle transactions than to, I, I don't know. I, don't, I just, mm. I'm so upset right now. Um, I really am. And it's frustrating because unfortunately this is a time sensitive order that need needed to be shipped out. And now the deadline has passed overseas is going to shut down for 20 days no actually it's more 30 days so how am I going to get my order for everybody I mean I was to the point you know take my part of the order off so that we can go ahead and get everybody shipped and it still wasn't enough the shipping by itself is fifteen hundred dollars so Y'all, I just, I don't know what, the, and, and I'm toying with myself on posting this video because it's a very vulnerable video and it's not like I got tons of credit cards. It's not like, cause I'm, I don't sell things. Um, that's not what I do. I'm not out here trying to be a millionaire off of anything, <laughs> which is why I stay broke all the time. Um, not broke, but you know what I'm saying? That's why it's just, that's, I'm not that astute business person. Um, with a bunch of business cards and such like stuff like that. So it's just, you know, I'm irritated. And at this point, I'm on here as well to apologize. Apologize to the people who money is on hold because I can't send your money that you want me to send to where it needs to go because they won't let me send it. And I'm apologizing because I don't have $2,500 just sitting in a bank account somewhere to front the money for you. Otherwise, I would. So I'm caught between a rock and a hard place right now. So at this point, they're saying if no issues arise with the account for the next 21 days, then they'll take the money off hold. If nobody complains and nobody disputes payments or whatever or has any issues. And I'm like, okay, well, we were supposed to have our stuff within 21 days so tell me how does how how is that helping me 
Um, again, y'all please understand, although I am upset and I am going to find another payment platform because I can't, I'm not going to continue to allow them to manipulate my business income like that. Actually, this isn't even business income. Y'all, I'm not making money off of this. You saw what was in the account. I just showed it to you. I, this isn't, this was not something for me to make money. I'm not making money off of this at all, actually. <laughs> um, To be quite frank, I'm at a loss because what, what people sent covered what comes to me, but then I have to pay to send it out to everybody and... So all that shipping, I'm going to have to cover at this point, even though I did talk to everybody and I was like, okay, well, uh, we may have to have shipping fees or whatever, but now how am I going to get shipping fees if these fools going to put it on hold and not even understand what the heck it is that I'm doing with it. And I, I don't have a bad history of payments or money or stuff like that with these fools. Matter of fact, I've had several working capital loans and pay them off. So because in the last three months I didn't do any classes I didn't sell any classes I didn't um well those are my my biggest things that I usually do in my classes but because I didn't earn extra income from doing classes I don't even qualify for a working capital loan because the income that I was getting over the fall from my classes they was like oh shoot she making money so let's give her a loan they're not even doing that so that I can front this and you see what I'm, it's just oh my god y'all I don't like to I need y'all to understand that if you are in business for yourself there is a possibility that if you're using PayPal they're going to play with your money they're going to play with it which is why there's a lawsuit out there now. The only reason why I'm saying that. <laughs> I'm not saying it because of what happened just to me. I'm saying that because there's lawsuits after lawsuits. If you go into your PayPal app or go onto the PayPal website, you go into the help, you go into the community forum, you'll see a long list of other people who are going through the exact same thing I'm going through now. They're caught between a rock and a hard place. The money is on hold. How are we supposed to operate? And, and, and again, this also, yes, this shows you just how jacked up things can get. If you don't have access to, um, oh gosh, if you don't have access to your own business funding, how am I putting this? Like if you don't have a business account set up and money saved, business credit, if you don't have any of that, then this can happen to you. This, this can happen to you in your business. Um, a customer pays you to get an order done. And they put the money on hold. How are you going to get the blanks for the customer? How are you going to, you know, and, and I have a credit card. It's not, <laughs> if you can call it a credit card. Um, and I'm not, I, even if I maxed it out, I still can't cover this. And that's a personal thing. So really, I should, I don't, I, I shouldn't be using my personal credit card, even though technically you are your business. So it's the same thing. But y'all, I don't know. I'm just, my brain is all over the place right now. I'm very upset. Um, but I will say to those who have purchased, um, like I said, I sent 4K already over there. He sent me confirmation today. The order is ready to ship. It's sitting there waiting on the rest of the money. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to have to edit that out. Yeah, I'm waiting on the rest of the money too. I'm waiting on the rest of the money too. So anyway, I don't know how long I've been ranting. 30 minutes. All right, so we're going to cut that off right now. For those of you who are waiting on this, we'll figure it out, you guys, so that we can get this order out. I just don't know how we're going to figure this out. Um, and then we will get you your buy-in products that we all bought into. Sorry for 
the rant, but it was warranted. You guys, look, we, we're, what, what I'm going to work on now is finding business funding options for us and talking to someone who can help us navigate avoiding this type stuff in our businesses. All right. So I promise you that that's going to happen. So y'all take care and I'll see you in the, in the group.